Okay, friends, today is 23 December 2019, and I'm at the grave of William Christenberry, the photographer who very famously documented Hill County, Alabama, over his adult life. He's sorely missed. I mean, uh, what a great, great human being, southern gentleman, southern charms, and just an excellent photographer. You know, we, we remember his very famous Green Warehouse and Sprott Church and Red Building and Forest, and there are many others, but he, he lived in Washington, D.C., and he would make the commute just about every summer back to Hale County, Alabama. And what was different about uh, Christenberry is, is in terms of other artists, you know, other artists, they'll take a photograph and, and never really revisit the same spot. It's just, it's a one-off. But Christenberry's claim to fame, really, was returning to the same spot year after year because he wanted to measure time as far as time's effect on a place or a building, right? We all remember the kudzu, how kudzu would basically claim a place. Or we remember Coleman's Cafe where uh, time itself just took a toll on Coleman's Cafe. And that was so he showed us, right, right through, through a series. It's almost like time-lapse photography in a way because he would visit once every summer photograph the same places and uh it became kind of a, like i said almost like time lapse over the period of 30 or 40 years but at any rate i just wanted to show you his grave and i'll show you here let me slowly turn around here there's the office in the distance there's the office you just come around right and this here he's buried in uh, Masonic, the Masonic Garden. Every every large plot of land has a different name, as this is the case with most cemeteries, of course. But he's in Masonic Garden. You make the turn, and you come until you find the two trees across from each other. There's a live tree, and it appears to be a much smaller dead tree. Right there, one across from the other. And just follow it across. And his is the first grave. His is actually the first grave toward the road. So it's quite easy to find his grave. Okay, so thank you very much. Okay, so I, I just showed you the actual uh, the location, and this is what I was referring to here, this intersection. So this is the office over here. You make this turn around the office and, and come right, and William Christenberry's grave is right nearly after you make the turn, and I showed you there's two trees. There's a live tree on the right and a dead tree on the left. And William Christenberry is, is buried here in Masonic Garden. And if you're, if you're interested in, in Let Us Now Praise Famous Men from 1936, James Agee and Walker Evans, Mary Fields um, McRae is uh, b buried here as well. She's in the uh, Last Supper. I think it's called Last Supper here. So if you want, if again, if you're if you're trying, if you want to maximize your visit and combine uh, Mr. Christenberry with, uh, let us now praise famous men. Mary Mary is buried buried there, and Charles R. Burroughs is buried here. In uh, it looks like it just says cross, but you can see here. So if you if you take a screenshot, you can get all three graves. This is this this doesn't apply here. This they had a, a, a two Charles Burroughs. They had a Charles D and a Charles R. And this is the one Charles R is the one from Let Us Now Praise Famous Men. So there you have it. You have William Christenberry, uh, Mary Fields, and uh, Charles Charles Burroughs. Okay. And again, this is the office over here to get your orientation. You just make that curve there. Okay. And uh, I will provide the grid coordinates here in just a second. Okay, so I, I marked his location. I'm in, sitting in my car. Sitting in my car. In the location, I, I marked his location. It's north. 33.17060 degrees. And west, 87.511.78 degrees. And the location or the accuracy, I think it was giving me about 10 feet accuracy. So it's going to place you right there. You're, you're going to come right upon uh, his grave. So and if you don't have a GPS, if you don't have a handheld GPS, you can use a car GPS. If you dig in the custom menus, you'll find grid coordinates in there. So you can use uh, your hand, your car GPS. It'll bring you right to the side of the grave on the road here. Or again, as I showed you, if you have no GPS at all, and all you have to do is, you know, just... Uh, 
follow the directions I give you as re regard to the curve in the road and the in the live tree and the dead tree and you're going to come up on it so again no matter which method you use you should find his grave rather easily thank you